In this video, you'll learn how to add a texture to transparent text or transparent picture. In this example, we're going to do text. A shout out to subscriber Drake for this tutorial request. Click on the text tool. Type in your text. Click on the select tool. Add a new layer. With the new layer highlighted, choose a green color. Choose the paint bucket. Fill the layer. Take your background and drag it to the top so it should look like this. With the top layer highlighted, click Merge Layer Down. Now what we want to do is get rid of the text. Click on the magic wand. Choose the text. Keep moving the tolerance until it selects the whole box. Once it selects the whole box, move back down one. Press the delete key on the keyboard. If you have any small pieces left over, you can go back and select those individually. Once you have all the text deleted, click the plus to add a new layer. Drag the new layer to the bottom. Select your texture. Copy your texture. Paste it into the bottom layer. And you can see your texture in the background. You can scroll your texture around to get exactly what you want. You could also resize the texture. Once you have it lined up like you like, press the enter key. Click the top layer. Click the merge layer down. And it's going to combine them both. Now what we want to do is get rid of the green. Click on the magic wand. Click on the green. You'll have to change your tolerance. Lower it until it highlights just what you'd like to get rid of, the background. Press the delete key. Select and delete the remaining pieces. A misclick and select a portion that you don't want. On the keyboard, hold down the control key and press Z. It'll undo the action. You can also come up here and click undo. After you use the magic wand to remove all the background, we can go ahead and test it. Get our selection tool. On the keyboard, hold down the control key and press A. And then press C to copy. Or you can click edit, select all, and then edit, copy. Let's paste it in the picture and see what it looks like. Control shift V to paste in a new layer. One final touch you may want to put on this is if you click on effects and go to object and you'll see where it says drop shadow. If you don't have this, you can download the plugin. From the tooltip, you can see the plugin name there. Click on drop shadow. From here, you can try different colors. If your text is going to be in a picture where there's light and dark colors, if the text is light, then it looks fine under dark, but it will blend in with the light background. If you put a border around it, it'll make it easy to see with both lighting conditions. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.